Hi, my name is Alan Williams. Uh, in this video, we're going to have a look at level of detail expressions in Tableau 10. Tableau level of detail expressions are a method used to compute aggregations that are not at the level of detail in the visualization. There's three different types, fixed, include, and exclude. A fixed level of detail expression calculates the aggregation at the level of detail specified in the calculated field regardless of any dimensions in the view. And we'll be looking at examples of this. An include level of detail expression calculates the aggregation at the level of detail specified by the dimensions in the view and the dimensions included in the calculated field. The result can be um, a calculation of the aggregation at a lower level than a detail in the view. An exclude level of detail expression calculates the aggregation at the level of detail specified by the dimensions in the view, excluding any listed in the calculated field. This can potentially result in the calculation of the aggregation at a higher level of detail than in the view. Okay, so let's get started. We're going to first have a look at a fixed level of detail expression. I should mention the data source I'm using for this is um, it's just Excel file created um, by running a query against the Microsoft AdventureWorks database. Anyone can download the SQL Server database and um, use it for um, sample data. I use it quite a bit for Tableau and for business objects tutorials that I do. Um, so I'll make the Excel file uh, available from my website. So I'm going to start by creating a visualization. First I'm going to bring in subcategory of columns. I'm going to bring in sales amount to rows. Let's bring the subcategory up here again. I'm going to create a filter for the categories. I don't want to show all, all the categories. I only want to show accessories and clothing. Just so we're looking at less data here. And then apply. And I want to add some color to this chart. So I'm going to bring in, bring in the country to color. So now if we hover over any of these data points, we can see the tooltip. So I'm seeing the country, Canada, subcategory category jerseys, and sales amount 119,594. But let's say, for example, in this tooltip, I also wanted to show the total sales for the category that this subcategory applies to. Plus, I want to show the name of the category that the subcategory applies to. So by the way that we do that is we're going to create a fixed, we're going to create a new calculated field. And we're going to use a fixed level of detail. So I'm just going to go down here, right click, create calculated field. I'm going to call this fixed category sales. I'm just going to start typing in fixed. So I'm using the fixed function. You see it adds a left curly bracket there. Um, so the level of detail is category. I'm just start typing in category. Then the syntax, put a colon, and then this, what I want to show is the aggregated sum for sales amount. And you can see the calculation contains errors. I have to add the trailing curly bracket. Put the right key there. So that looks like it's valid, so I'll click apply. So what's done is it's added this new measure here, fixed category sales. Say OK. I drag this into the tooltip. I'm just clicking and dragging it into the tooltip. It's added this object here, this attribute, some fixed category sales. Now, if I hover over the data point, now I am seeing fixed category sales showing in the tooltip. However, I also want to show the category name. Um, so we'll do that in a minute, and I also want to change some of the text in the tooltip itself. So I want to add the category name into the tooltip as well. So that is pretty easy. I can just click and drag category into the tooltip. Now if I hover over the tooltip, I'm seeing all of the items I want to have, the subcategory, name, and sales, the category name and sales, but I'm, they're not showing in the order that I want, and I want to change the appearance of this tooltip. So the way I can do that is just double click the tooltip, and I want to have 
subcategory sales underneath subcategory. I'm going to change the name. Subcategory sales. And category is good. And so I'm just going to call this category sales. I don't need to have it say fixed. That looks good. Just change this to country. I just change the spacing. So that's what I want to have for my tooltip. Click OK. Now, if I hover over the tooltip, it's nice and clean. I'm seeing the country, subcategories, jerseys, total sales 119,594. See that jerseys belongs to the clothing category with a total sales of 1.77841 million so that's an express um, example of a fixed level of detail and how you can use it in a tooltip in your chart so we've had a look at a fixed level of detail now we'll have a look and in include level of detail expression so i'm going to go to create a new worksheet here i'm going to bring in the sales territory region to columns and sales into rows And now that I've done that, I want to change the default aggregation here. So by default, Tableau um, includes the sum aggregation. I want to change this to an average. So I've got the sales territory region, the average sales. Now I want to add sales territory region to color. So I have a different color for each one of these areas. The goal here is to show the average sales by sales territory region, in addition to having another bar chart below this showing the average sales by sales territory region, but up to the category level. So based on the average sales per category in each region. Sounds a bit complicated, but let's, let's get started. First thing I want to do is add a new calculated field. We'll call this include category average. And we'll start with include. Again, it's the same syntax, and this is the category level that we want to include. In this case, I want average, not sum. And I want sales amount. And let's close that off. Looks good, so buy and OK. So if I double click this new measure, it adds a new bar chart underneath. But by default, we see up here it has the sum in the rows. So I want to change this to average. Okay, so now we're showing, for example, <clears throat> for Canada, the average sales amount aggregated is $1,256. The average at the category level is 884. We're seeing both of these in the tooltips, and that's okay. And we can see we do have different access levels uh, for these two charts right here. So you'll see in the tooltip um, the format of the numbers, it's just showing one decimal place. I want to show these as currency. It's not as easy as it may look. So if I double click on tooltip, uh, you'll see I have the the label sales territory, excuse me, sales territory region, and I have the amount. There's no option here to format these numbers the way that I want them. So in order to do that, I have to change the format of the axis. Let me just click on cancel. So if I select the axis here for average sales amount, right click and format. Over here in the numbers, I want to change this to currency custom and zero decimal places. And that's the way I want it. And I want to do the same thing for this other axis, for this other bar chart. Go to Numbers, Currency, Custom, 0. So now if I hover over the tooltip, I'm seeing that the numbers in the tooltip are formatted as currency. And they also are in the, uh, in the axis over here. Now let's just go ahead and prove that this number is correct. So for Canada, I'm seeing it 
average category of $884. Let's just prove that that is actually correct. So I'm going to create a new worksheet. It's going to bring the category into rows and average sales amount text. I'm only going to include Canada, so I want to do a filter here. Just Canada. Now I want to change this sum to average. I want to include a total for this column. <clears throat> so analysis, totals, show column grand totals, and I want to change this aggregation to, sorry, here we go. Average, so we're seeing 884, and that does correspond to what I'm seeing here for the include category average. So this is working the way we intended. Now let's have a look at an exclude level of detail example. I'm going to go ahead and create a new worksheet, and I'm going to bring in category into rows, and I'm going to bring some of the, the sales amount to text. Just expand that here. So in this example, what I want to see is I'm seeing bike racks, 197,000. On the column to the right, I want to show the total sales for the accessories category in each one of these rows. So I'm going to go ahead and create a new variable, or sorry, calculated field, and we'll call this um, exclude subcategory. Start with exclude, that's a function we want to use, and subcategory. And we want to have the sum of sales. Okay, apply. Okay, so exclude subcategory. Here is the calculated field. If I drag it over here, I now see. The total sales for accessories is 571. So I can prove this by going here, analysis, totals, add all subtotals. So there we go, 571, 298, and I'm showing that on every row. So now I can use this for further calculations if I want in my visualization. So that's just a simple example of an exclude LOD. Thank you for watching, and I hope you enjoyed uh, the content of the video. Hope that um, you gained some insight on into how you can use level of detail expressions in Tableau. I'm always open to comments and suggestions. If you've noticed anything in my video that doesn't make sense or you think there's a better way to do it, please let me know. Uh, if you want to have a look at the other videos I have produced over the last few years, I have a number on Tableau, also a number on business objects as well. So feel free to visit alanwilliams.ca and you can also have a look at my uh, LinkedIn profile and feel free to connect with me. All right, thank you very much again.